going on everybody c4 here welcome back to the channel and in today's madden 20 rebuild we're gonna be taking a look at the la chargers rebuild i think that you know the reason why i'm doing it is we're starting to get a little bit closer to the draft especially teams that failed to make the playoffs you're starting to think in that draft mode and i'm like looking at the chargers like do they go quarterback right now year one is the philip rivers era in real life over in la i think it is most likely so I was like, well, now we know they're most likely going to try and figure out if they can acquire a quarterback or something like that. So I'm like, yes, that is what this rebuild is going to be. I don't know what quarterback we're going to get in the draft. There's two big names that I think realistically could be options for the Chargers that I'm going to try to bring in just to get an idea of what's going on. But that is for a later time. Um, looking at the roster we have here right now. I mean, we have Phillip Rivers, Philly Rivers, very old. Tyrod, very expensive. Like this, we have to, we have to find a way to fix this salary cap. You got Melvin Gordon and Austin Eckler. You know they, they were trying to trade Melvin Gordon. I don't know if we should hang on to him and maybe use him as trade bait if we need to acquire more draft picks. But I'm pretty sure he's in a contract year, right? If he's in a contract year, yeah, he's one year. We're gonna try. We're actually gonna. I'm gonna try to trade him because I think Austin Eckler can be the running back of the future for the Chargers. Uh, Keenan Allen's good. He's 27, so a little bit of an awkward age for a rebuild. But Mike Williams is a great age for a rebuild. 81 star. Uh, Keenan Allen, 91 superstar X Factor. So he's a he's a legit baller. Want to get Travis Benjamin's contract off the books for sure. Hunter Henry, really really nice tight end. Uh, I wonder if it's difficult to resign him because he is one of the more you know potent names that you see as an available free agent year one, year two. Uh, offensive line, I have to go all in and fix the offensive line. This is this is a terrible offensive line. They were kind of hoping one of these two, Feeney and Lamp, who I actually thought were fairly solid prospects, could be the guy. Maybe there's a chance there. So what we're going to do actually take Force Lamp. He does have a star dev, and I'm going to slide him over here to right tackle, and then we'll go Dan Feeney at guard. And hope to God that between Feeney and Lamp, we can develop both of them into serviceable offensive linemen. I don't know if that's going to be the case, but I hope so. Um, we got Joey Bosa on the defense side of the ball, 91 superstar X factor baller, uh, Melvin Ingram's more of a veteran at this point. Uh, no real expectations for him come year four, year five, stuff like that. But for the time being, he's, he's pretty good, but we do need to think about that low key about bringing in his eventual replacement at D tackle. We're going to hope Jerry Tillery can develop, not a great dev trade for a first round draft pick 71 with a normal dev, but, um, I'm going to project him to be our starting D tackle and hopefully he gets a lot of of tackles. Chenowosu, an outside linebacker, 78 star dev, really, really good going forward. Javis Brown, this is where it gets a little interesting. Uh, if we're going to be thinking about the team going forward, I'm going to take Jatavis Brown. And I'm going to move him to right outside linebacker because he has a star dev that he's working with. So while Thomas Davis, the veteran, the old head is in place, if we make Jatavis Brown start with that dev trait, we'll probably be better uh, to have that year of development. They got Denzel Perriman, 72. We got Drew Tranquil, 72. Uh, one of them just got a new deal. The other one, I mean, it's fine. You got know, some solid depth here for sure. Secondary, Casey Hayward, 91. I think he has a star dev, but he also is 29. So Desmond King is really the future of the secondary. 24 years old, star dev, 88 out of Iowa. We got Michael Davis from BYU. Maybe we can develop him into something, 73. He's only 24. So uh, he could emerge as our third corner, but long term, we're going to need to get someone else to pair in with Davis and Des King. Free safety, we're more so going to be leaning towards Nasir Adderley, hidden dev trade over Adrian Phillips, the veteran. Uh, strong safety, Derwin James. You know, you know what it is. One of the most frustrating players to go up against. Luckily, he is on our team. Special teams, we got Bagley and a Ty Long. You know, whatever. They're just they're just okay, especially. So what I'm actually going to try to do before the preseason is over is flip Melvin Gordon for something of value because I just don't really see any way that we look at re-signing him. So let's do that and then get into year one. Okay, this worked out fairly well. Find out what team's most desperate for a running back. Tampa's at the top of the list. We flip Melvin Gordon and a fourth-round pick for guard Ali Marpet, 88 overall, who literally can play guard or tackle. Huge get for the LA Chargers. Made another deal, pretty much figured how I can make it work. Ingram had like the ugliest deal for age. He's still really good, right? But we we just we're gonna be in a rebuild. We're, we already know we're moving on from Philip Rivers, so there's no point having a lot of these old guys 
that want a chance to win a Super Bowl. So we flipped Ingram, Travis Benjamin, and I, this kind of stinks. I thought we might be able to develop him. Kaiser White, the outside linebacker from West Virginia. We flipped him to the Carolina Panthers for wide receiver Curtis Samuel and a future fourth round pick. You know, it is what it is. So here's why we made the moves. Here's what I was thinking. So at least on the offense, we needed that third wide receiver. Uh, and, and obviously, Curtis Samuel is going to be a great fit. I mean, if you're Carolina, you know, you have Christian McCaffrey. You got you know, DJ Moore is really, really nice. So a little bit surplus requirement if you de if you determine that edge rusher is more important. Getting someone like Ingram that can help you get the Super Bowl versus a gadget player like Curtis Samuel. Um, but yeah, now we have Austin Eckler is our starting running back. No more Melvin Gordon. Phillip Rivers is still here for the time being. But now we bring in Ali Marpet, who we got from the Melvin Gordon trade. He's going to start at right guard. Uh, it's a young offensive line, but if we can get Feeney, you know, Marpet's 26, so pretty much the same age as uh, Melvin Gordon. But if we can get Feeney, Lamp, and Marpet to really be like the central focus piece of this offensive line, it's a great starting point. But defensively, here's why we made the Ingham trade. Because Chenowosu is like a 3-4 outside linebacker, so we might as well put him at defensive end. He's 79 with a star, so we're giving up 9 points of overall, but he's 8 years younger. So thinking forward, this is the right move to make. Give Melvin Ingram, I mean, even think about it from a Melvin Ingram standpoint, give him to a team that is going to, uh, you know, to try to contend for a Super Bowl. It's not going to be us. We're getting ready for a rebuild. We're going to give Adderley the start over Phillips. We actually might be able to try to trade Phillips. How old is he? He's 27 when they started him. There's actually a legit shot we could try to trade him. But for the linebacking core, Jatavis Brown, Perryman, and we can now give Drew Tranquil a lot of snaps. He's a rookie that's 75 overall, so that is huge, and linebackers do tend to go up in dev trades fairly quickly. So that, you know, we got, we got some young, I mean, Perriman's the oldest of the group. I think he's 26. There's, there's a chance that these are going to be the three linebackers of the future for our squad. But actually, I'm going to see if we can get some value here from Phillips. Maybe look at bringing in, you know, a competent third corner, a D tackle, something like that. If not, we'll just hang on to him. Double offer, only one team desperately wanted safety, and we got pretty fair value. Setting 77 to start at Phillips to the Miami Dolphins for a younger but a normal dev. Devon Godchow, who's going to come in and start alongside Jerry Tillery at defensive tackle. Coming out of the bye here in year one, we're five and six, which is a little off the mark, especially this is going to be our last year with Phillip Rivers. You'd love to see him to get a playoff run so he could be one and done or lose once he takes the Patriots. I don't know. Maybe that's still uh, wounds. But he's actually playing pretty well. First in at yards, 13th in touchdowns. Like, that is like a Phillip Rivers season, right? Like, first in yards, but also five and six, like below 500. Um,. We've have, we have seen some pretty decent development. Uh, Curtis Samuel went from star to superstar, and we actually just failed a week ago getting him to a superstar X-Factor. It's really, really tough to get those in sim. We got Austin Eckler from a star to a superstar at running back, which is even more important because we moved on from Melvin Gordon. He already has a better dev trait than Melvin Gordon. Drew Tranquil went from normal to a star. He's an 83 overall. So, like, essentially... Looking at Chenna Wosu, 80 star, and Drew Tranquil, that those are the two guys that that are really the beneficiaries of Melvin Ingram getting traded. Because I mean that could be a hot take for Charger fans to watch this because Ingram is, you know, almost a legend there. But you know, you're starting to see why we're doing that. And the only thing that's that's been disappointing, at least on the defense, I haven't seen really much development from Jatavis Brown and Denzel Perryman. We might need to think about getting a linebacker sooner than later. Nasir Adderley came out with a star dev. So there, there's a lot of playmakers back here. I don't know if we're going to really make a push uh, for the playoffs because, you know, the top heavy right now, the West Raiders and Chiefs both have eight wins. But we'll see what happens. But look at a contract first up. We have Hunter Henry. Definitely want him. Safety net type player, especially for whoever is going to be our quarterback of the future. Same with Austin Eckler. Uh, give him a five-year deal. Worthy of it. He's really, really dynamic and do a lot of things. Phil Rivers. This is where it gets awkward. Philly, don't really, you know, you know it's not really... We have five years here to Michael Davis. I think he can develop as our third corner. Jatavis Brown wants actually a lot of money, but I'm gonna de I'm gonna gamble that he will develop. That is, that is gonna because he has that star dev over the next five years. He should get up into the 80s, which is gonna be more than justifiable for that contract and to be a starter on the defense. So that looks that's pretty damn good here. I guess say bye to Philly. And at the end of the year, no playoffs, six and ten. Like that's also like a record that might have been one, two, three, four, five. I mean, it's, yeah, there we go. Six pick should have a shot at a quarterback still. Um, I don't think we had any dev traits down the stretch, though. We didn't uh, statistically speaking. So let's see, Philip Rivers lot. Like that's a good year for him. Forty five hundred yards, thirty one touchdowns, eight picks. I do feel like that's the scheme. That's the players around him and. 
any quarterback should put up big numbers in the Chargers offense, which we, you know, we do see that from time to time in the sim. Austin Eckler, just shy of 1,000 yards, but 12 touchdowns on the season. I think Justin Jackson had a star dev, too. So we got a healthy two-headed running back attack here, but I definitely would like to see Eckler get over 1,000. Receiving Hunter Henry. 88 catches, 1,100 yards, five touchdowns as a tight end is ridiculous. Curtis Samuel, we traded for him from the Carolina Panthers. 68 catches, 1,100 yards, nine. We got 960 and eight from Mike Williams, 806 from Keenan Allen. Um, you know, if there was a way that we could swap Keenan Allen and like Hunter Henry's numbers, this would have been perfect. Like a, a perfect, and Eckler pro- definitely should have more. You know, he probably should have 40, 50 catches at the backfield, but. Generally speaking, those really good offensive numbers. Defensively, Drew Tranquil, the rookie, 137 tackles, 7 TFLs, 2 sacks, and an interception. After a rookie year, he's already up to an 84. Unreal. Unreal. We got, uh, ooh. Again, looking in the comments. Any defensive scheme that gets sacks, let me know. It's very frustrating. Derwin James, 3 interceptions, 2 for Thomas Davis. Yearly awards, MVP went to Lamar Jackson. How fitting. AFC office player went to Andrew Luck. God, just get him out of the game. I hate the fact that they just won't remove him from the game. Like, ah, uh, so frustrating. Him and Ryan Chase here. Get them out of the game, for God's sakes. Phil Rivers, number seven for offensive player of the year. Defensive player of the year went to Raekwon McMillan. Drew Tranquil coming in at eight. Offensive rookie, they went to Josh Jacobs. Uh, defensive rookie, they went to Drew Tranquil. Hell yeah, baby. Maybe we get a dev trade increase. Maybe you get to a superstar. That would be... Pretty damn dope. We saw Tillery and Adderley there as well. Individual awards. Where is he at for linebacker? Oh, he's, he, wasn't, he didn't even make it. That's awesome. That's phenomenal. That's great. That's awesome. That's phenomenal. That's great. Let's get into the offseason and try to get a quarterback. Update here for Drew Tranquil. Going up to an 85. I was like, well, what's that? What's this all about? How does he get the day? And he's up to a superstar after one year. Yes, sir. We have the next great linebacker. And it's all because we traded Melvin Ingram. So here we are looking at QBs. This is a little bit of an older of a draft class. Uh, I think the two quarterbacks that could be in play for the Chargers are Jordan Love out of Utah State and Justin Herbert from Oregon. I, I think Herbert's going to be the guy. I think Herbert's the fit. I think he's, you know, I, I made a comparison video. I think he's Daniel Jones. And what we saw with Daniel Jones last year was a, a player that has a lot of potential, a lot of upside. And just imagine if someone like Daniel Jones... I mean, the offensive line's terrible, but imagine if he had the skill position players that they are in, in Chargers right now with Eckler and Henry and Mike Williams and Keaton Allen and Curtis Samuel. So we're putting Justin Herbert in a very favorable scenario here, taking over for Philip Rivers, 92 throw power. Really, really accurate for the most part. Good athlete. 77 speed, 81 acceleration. If you watch the Rose Bowl, you would have saw that on full display, but it is now the Justin Herbert era in Los Angeles. So look at our draft recap here. After the selection of Justin Herbert in the second round, we got Monty Rice, linebacker from Georgia. He's 20. He's 70. He's a hidden dev trait, and I think he's going to be the guy that could take over for Denzel Perriman. I didn't quite get the development and growth I wanted from him. And then here was just a Hail Mary, because we did re-sign um, Jatavis Brown, and then we draft Josh Uche, who is actually like a scheme fit, hidden dev. So... You know, we're kind of, you know, eh. we kind of went BPA here and we might have, we might have kind of backed ourselves into a hole. We might need to see if we can flip Jatavis Brown. And then we got another great dev trade, Thomas Graham Jr., 67 hidden dev. Shout out to the Bucks franchise is what kind of reminded me that he had a hidden dev trade. Uh, we got Bradley and A from Utah, 66, Muti from Fresno State, 64, and then kind of whiffed on the final pick there. But, uh, yeah, we might have three contributors very early from this draft in Herbert Rice and Josh Uche. We're going to year two. Here's how the team is shaping up now with Justin Herbert under center. We get Eckler, 87 superstar. We have our X-Factor still in Kenyon Allen. Curtis Samuels, almost a 90. Mike Williams, he's the next guy up. We're going to put him in the slot this year. Hopefully, he gets a couple opportunities to go from star to superstar. Offensive line, it's, it's a work in progress. Marpet. Uh, Feeney's in the 70s now. Lamp's in the 70s now. We're going to have to replace Akun and Pouncey. I think maybe this offseason, but with the offseason, we try to address the offensive line. Hunter Henry, now a 90 overall tight end. And defensively, we're just going to have to live with the bad contract extension we gave Jatavis Brown. I mean, he's still solid depth, but Rice and Uche will start at linebacker along with an emerging star on the defense side of the ball in Drew Tranquil. Let's, let's just pray. That we can get sacks this season from Wosu or Bosa. Because last year, I think combined, they had like six total sacks, which was disgusting. Uh, Adderley hopefully takes the next step this season. Derwin James, baller. Um, 
So yeah, I mean, top to bottom, it's it's still a team that's a work in progress, and hopefully we get a little bit of that juice that the Madden Sims tends to have when you rock and roll with a young quarterback here in year number two. So you knew we are going to hop in when we got a dev trait scenario for Mr. Michael Williams. Who, Mike Williams? Uh, go up to Superstar, only 2,000 XP, whatever. I just want more so the dev trait. We're 5-0. and We got that rookie QB juice. Going into the buy, we got some contracts right out the rip. I didn't sign anyone in free agency, but I said, like, why? That's kind of weird. Because I knew we had some massive contracts impending. So first off, Mr. Joseph Bosa, we got to try to extend you. Keaton Allen, it's a lot of money, but you're also very good. Okay, all these guys are bending us over. Okay, there we go. Des King, we got him. Oh, Curtis Samuel, let's get you back here, bud. Great trade that we made with the Carolina Panthers. Um... You know, God Show will probably get a contract. Pouncey's replaceable, I think, with the center because we're using the Madden draft class. I'm still not really. I don't really want to use my 2021 draft classes yet. They're just they're pretty outdated. So um, yeah, we'll try to get God Show, and then obviously spend a lot of money to retain Joey Bosa and Keenan Allen. In shootout against the Raiders. I couldn't believe actually they were keeping up with me in the sim. Uh, but we had a dev trade scenario. Frost actually go to Superstar X Factor. Uh, one of the most likable players in the NFL. I was like, yes, hell yes, we're getting up to an X Factor, 5,000 XP. Just another big weapon on that offense for Justin Herbert. I just got to show you this. I got to make this. This is the greatest thing I've ever seen in a rebuild. I played three games. You saw two of the three because I wanted to get dev traits, right? So almost just subtract three. This was a sim. There's six touchdowns in week 17 for Justin Herbert. Did he get another player? Oh, we got five touchdowns there in the sim. We got uh, six touchdowns in the sim. The reason why I'm showing you this is because, yes, I've played with him three times this year. Three times. We went 15 and one. <laughs> just wait. We went 15 and one. Okay, and I think, okay, okay let's try, I'm going to try to break down the math. In the three times I would have played, it's nine, we'll say about nine touchdowns. Nine, ten touchdowns in three games. Could clearly we're airing it out, right? Still. 5,100 yards, 56 touchdowns, breaking the record. Single season touchdown record. What? I mean, yes, uh, we'll, we'll say I've accounted for 10 touchdowns of those. But, like, that was me playing 10. Like, he still probably would have got, if you take away 10, he still probably would have got 50. You know what I'm saying? Like, on the greatest rookie season of all time. And we went 15-1. and one. I I don't know what to tell you. This is the craziest thing. I've, and we know the Chargers are going to be greasy. We know they're going to be cheesy. Didn't know they're gonna. This is insane, insanity. This is the craziest thing that I think I've ever had in a rebuild. Uh, we got thirteen, almost fourteen hundred yards, eleven touchdowns. He had two rushing touchdowns too. Fifty-eight touchdown total for Justin Herbert. Um, just unreal. Mike Evans, six thirteen hundred yards, sixteen touchdowns, eleven and twelve for Keenan Allen, nine and fourteen for Hunter Henry. Curtis Samuel is the only guy that didn't really eat. He still almost had seven hundred yards, six eighty and nine for Austin e Austin Eckler. Had 2,000 yards and 20 touchdowns. <laughs> this is the... Look, our backup, Justin Jackson. Justin Jackson had 400 yards and 11 touchdowns. Uh, defensively, Drew Tranquil, 105 tackles. We got eight sacks, Bosa, eight for Chenna Wosu, seven for Devon Godshaw, 16 TFLs. We extended him, which was great. Five picks there when Jay's four. Like, this is the greatest rebuild year I've ever had, and it's in year... Look at those numbers! If he, if he gets 50 again, like, if this is a one-year fluke, like, next year, I'm not playing any game. I don't care if there's any dev trade scenarios. I'm going to I'm gonna see just how OP Justin Herbert is in this sim. I'm not going to touch nothing. If he can get even 40, 40-plus, 40 he's the greatest rebuild quarterback I've ever seen. Um, Like, like legit, got 12, two six bombs in games that I simmed. What is going He's your MVP, undisputed MVP, offensive player of the year. I mean, you can only go up one dev trait, but he'll go up to, uh, I think he was just a star, so he'll go up to a superstar. Austin Eckler coming in at number five. Defense player, they went to Miles Garrett. 
Uh, offensive Rookie of the Year, Justin Herbert. Clearly Defensive Rookie of the Year. Josh Uche showed up there at number four. QBs, Herbert. Running back, Le'Veon Bell beating out Austin Eckler. I don't know about that. Mike Williams is your top wide receiver. He's superstar. He could be getting an X-Factor based off that. Um, DB, Derwin James, he's already a superstar. Would have been nice, actually, if Des King got it because he could go from star to a superstar. We're going to go first round by here. I'm just simming it. Like I, I, I'm, you know, I could be a historic season. Is it worth playing this to see where it'll take us? But I, I just want to. I'm gonna let the sim do its thing. Like now, I almost feel like this ridiculous year is tainted because I because I played three games of it with uh, Justin Herbert. I want to see like what he would have done. I think like, I'm pissed at myself because look, we had one of the worst defenses in the NFL. We had the 29th ranked defense. Like where were they would have been? So let's see what Herbert can do without me. And the first round. Uh, of course, one and done in the playoffs, 28 to 24, that league worst defense. Oh, yeah, I should have showed you this. Look, see, look, one game I played against the Saints. We dropped 40. We dropped 50. We dropped 50 in this sim, and I actually started simming that game from half. But look, four, like, an unbelievable year. And in the postseason, we're one and done, 28-24, Herbert. Didn't play terribly, but also didn't play at that super high level that we expect him to. Um, yeah, that, that one kind of stinks to get kind of worked by Jacoby Brissett on a record-breaking year. But uh, let's see if we can do it again next year. I'm, I just want to see, is Herbert going to go down as the greatest rebuild quarterback in history? I think maybe with this one year it is, but there's a little bit of an asterisk next to it. Let's see what he can do straight up CPU sim. Here in awards, Mike Williams got that superstar X factor as being wide receiver. Here. He got mossed. So that's great. That's not first one free. And now we have eight skill points to spend on Justin Herbert. For free agency, we just I kind of actually threw a super low bid on Chidoba Wujie, 87 star dev corner, formerly the Dallas Cowboys, because we got to improve that defense. I don't want to spend a whole lot of money because we have some big contracts coming up, uh, but we need to get some piece on the defense side of the ball. I'm bringing in 87 corner. Definitely going to help. After landing a Wujie in free agency, here's how our draft went as we were trying to get ready for year three. We had to go big on the offensive line. We had to replace Pouncey in particular. Uh, so we just went best interior offensive line. That came out Dell Flanagan from Auburn. 76 overall. No dev trade, but this guy here built like a center. Should be able to play there right away. Pretty solid athlete too with that 78 acceleration. Um, we had a 71 D tackle out of Buffalo, Shannard Johnson. Just depth. Like, you know, we got some really good, like, guys in the 60s, but we had no dev traits, which is kind of annoying. But we did get a starter here on the offensive line in Flanagan, who actually, we might as well just do that right now. We'll make him a center, see if his rating takes a hit or a boost. Usually, they might go down one. Oh, he stays the same. Awesome. Really good pick. So, we are now here in year three, coming off of the most ridiculous sim quarterback season I have ever seen from Justin Herbert, who's now a 93 superstar. Uh, what we saw in terms of improvements is Mike Williams is now a superstar X factor uh, on the offense. We bring in Flanagan to take over for Marquise Pouncey at center. Uh, we did kind of need a tackle. Um, we'll go. We have Trey Pipkins here. You know, you know, it is. You know, kinda, I don't know. He was a draft pick of the chargers, but, um, it's still a really good team. Offensive line, work in progress. We'll just say, we'll just say it's a work in progress and Feeney 79, four slams, almost in an 80. So I'm glad that those two guys have been able to grow and develop. On the defensive side, in terms of changes, uh, Josh Uche came out as... I don't even think he came out as a superstar. I think he... Did he develop into that? No, maybe not. Maybe Josh Uche straight up is a superstar player. That is unreal draft pick. Monty Rice came out as a star. Drew Tranquil up to a superstar X-Factor. One hell of a baller. We throw in Chidobo, Chidobo Wujie, who we bring in as a free agency signing. And hell yeah, give me some development for one of our D-tackles. And I'm laughing as we become one of the best teams in the AFC and the NFL. Coming up from the bye, very, very bipolar from what we were last year. 15-1. and one. Now we're 3-4. and four. Well off the mark here for the AFC West. Herbert is way off the mark of getting, you know, 50 touchdowns yet again. Yards look fine, but I guess everyone's kind of, you know, playing down a little bit. We have a breakout scenario for Cheno Wosu on the defensive side of the ball, that'd be great because we need one of these edge rushers to step up. That's a realistic goal. Let's see if we get that. We'll sim that, and then we'll look at our free agents. And, oh, we get smoked by the Eagles, giving up 32 points. It's just, uh, you know, we used all of our luck last season, I suppose. Uh, contract. So we got Mike Williams, superstar X-Factor wide receiver. Definitely want to hold on to him. I'm glad. I mean, all of our contracts, generally speaking, have been working out. Um you know, it's, it's, 
I, I hope that there's not going to be anyone that we have to like really hope to extend next year. But uh, we'll, we'll have to save a little bit of money here on Casey Hayward. But, yeah, we got our two big young players extended. And let's see if we can turn the season around. Finish out the year, we straight up got carried by what? We had, like, five wins. We went five and one, I think, down the stretch after that bye to make it into the playoffs. Justin Herbert, like, 4,800 yards, 43 touchdowns. Someone beat him. We didn't get 50 again. We have almost... Who beat him? Oh, my God. See, look, the rookie quarterbacks are... It's not just me. Tool went for 46. Something in this sim's like, hey, let's make these rookie quarterbacks insane. Joe Burrow getting 39. But uh, Herbert's just continuing to be simply sensational. 75% completion percentage, 4,800 yards, 43 touchdowns. That's... That's... That's literally 99 touchdowns in two years. One touchdown shy of 100 in two years. 1,100 yards, six touchdowns there. Herbert also had two rushing touchdowns. Receiving Keenan Allen, huge year. Curtis Samuel, 17 touchdowns, 10 for Mike Williams. A uh, little bit odd. Eckler had like 600 yards, nine tutties last year. Got nothing this season. Uh, defensively, 122 tackles, six TFLs, three sacks for Monty Rice. There could be a Defensive Rookie of the Year award in it for him. Sacks are down. And interceptions are down. Four picks, though, for Des King. Yearly awards for MVP. Tua beating out Justin Herbert. Okay. AFC Offense Player of the Year went to Tua, beating out Herbert again. Defense Player of the Year went to Ryan Shazier, get him out of the game. Offensive look, Rookie of the Year went to Malcolm Kramer, who I actually think is our fullback. Our fullback won Offensive Rookie of the Year. Uh, so dumb. Justin Herbert's your quarterback. Curtis Samuel's your wide receiver. Ooh, that could be an X-Factor for him. I think he's Superstar right now. That could be Superstar X-Factor. One and two, though, for the wide receivers is pretty dope. Um, no other individual. I can't... Our fullback... Maybe that's even crazier than Herbert going for 50 touchdowns. Is our fullback at Offensive Rookie of the Year. And we get a rematch. We were dusted one and done a week, a year ago from the Colts. And we knock him off 35-17. to 17. Herbert now is a 99 overall. Let's take a look here at that game. Was, did Herbert just show you what he's been doing the whole time? I'm assuming he went off. Three touchdowns, no interceptions on the day. Curtis Samuel, 116, two tutties. We got a couple sacks here, a pick for Derwin James. And just like that, we have to run the gauntlet. We were into the divisional round against the 12-4 Buffalo Bills. And we knocked them off, 38 to 24. See, we're kind of going against the grainer because usually when you see the Chargers in the playoffs, they're like 8-8, eight and eight, and that's when they're most dangerous, but we're being pretty goddamn dangerous right now. Justin Herbert, six touchdowns, no picks during this playoff run, 100 yards and a tutty there for Eckler, 102 for Samuels on fire. We got a couple sacks. Der uh, Des King with another interception, so we're playing well on both sides of the ball, and in the conference championship, we make the Super Bowl, I'll play it. Conference championship, though, we got to get through a very good Madden Sim team in the Cleveland Browns. They're 12-4, and four, and we beat, we drop another 30, Bob. Just averaging 38 points a game here throughout the playoffs. Getting into the Super Bowl, year two of the Herbert era. 38-13. to 13. Again, automatic. Three touchdowns. He has nine touchdowns, no interceptions during this playoff run. 158 yards, huge game from Austin Eckler. Four touchdowns for Herbert on the day. Curtis Samuels averaging two touchdowns a game here in the playoffs. We get a sack from Joey Bosa. No interceptions, but just like that, in year two of the greatest rebuild quarterback ever, year two of that Justin Herbert era, we get our five points for our fullback. Because uh, he got offensive rookie of the year. We are in the Super Bowl against a 13-3 and New York Giants team. I, I just quite simply can't pass up this opportunity to try to win a Super Bowl and have this just regardless of what happens for the rest of we got, we got two more years after this I want this to be a successful rebuild we need to win the Super Bowl so let's get into it we're just gonna pop a bear I'm not gonna play the full game just because it's year it's only year three it's not like do or die but you know we've been having fairly good luck over 50 percent completion percentage when we hop in and throw a bomb but uh, I think we might need to hop in because we're, we're stalling out here a lot. We're, get, we're kicking field goals. That is not the mantra of this team. But uh, we're up 16-10. Got a six-point lead into the third quarter, second half. Down one. 
feel like give me out oh, we're in the red zone here and we turn the ball over in the red zone very unnatural of this team well, we tied up at 24 apiece we're in the red zone we go for it we get it 31 24 i'm gonna come in if they get a touchdown here i'm gonna come in and throw a bomb it's 31 31 47 seconds left we have an op weapon throwing the bomb where is he Hmm. I guess we could. I need Curtis Samuel. And this, this is his route. This is his money route. He has 96, 97 speed. As long as the offensive line holds up. Look, he beat his man. Oh, no. We're going to get that. Curtis Samuel beat his man. If, if I can get even just a second. Oh, my God. Why aren't you fucking pass protecting? We are going to get that. I'm going to beat them deep with Curtis Samuel. 100%. They have no one on that secondary that can hang with his speed. I don't even need to do like a verts. Just give me a, give me an option where our, I think he's our slot, can go deep. I can just audit. We'll go dig. We got dig. There we go. This is something that we can use. We'll Eckler and pass pro. Just give me time to throw it to the fast wide receiver and win the Super Bowl. Get yourself, if you get a, like a wide receiver that has 96, 97 speed, that's going to be open. I mean, every, it's the money run. It's not like I'm telling you something that you've never heard before. But it's been working for us here in our rebuilds. Year three, Groot, it's, it's GOAT. He, he is GOAT certified. Justin Herbert, the GOAT rebuild. 56 touchdowns last year, 43 touchdowns this year. He's sitting on 99 in two years. I want to see the stat line so far throughout this playoff run, right before your very eyes, just in case you think there's some weird shenanigans going on under the hood. Nine touchdowns, no interceptions on the Super Bowl run. We're going to wait and see Is Daniel Jones is... That's not even Daniel Jones. That's Mr. Mitchell Trubisky in a Giants uniform. He's bawling his eyes out. But I'm going to assume he probably got MVP, unless it was Curtis Samuel, because he is just elite. That's the one highlight that we actually hopped in for, so I don't know. Uh, there you go. And he threw his first pick, but he went 13 touchdowns, one interception during the playoffs. That's one of the greatest playoff runs ever. GOAT certified is Justin Herbert. Let's have him, you know, let's let him give him the opportunity, give him some camera time to hoist that Super Bowl trophy up as this guy goes in the history books as a successful Super Bowl winning rebuild. We still got two more years to go of Herbert. I'm hoping. We don't suffer that down slump that you occasionally do see in a in a Madden sim. I want Herbert to keep going 40 touchdowns, 50 touchdowns. I want him to be Patrick Mahomes. I want him, that man right there, the greatest rebuild quarterback ever, to be Patrick Mahomes for the rest of this rebuild. So we cockily didn't spend any money in free agency, just going in the draft, and this is one of one of the best drafts I've ever had. Uh, first round, so we didn't pick up the fifth-year option on Jerry Tillery. So I wanted to draft a D-tackle. We got Thomas Morales, 71 hidden dev out of UCF, scheme fit. Uh, doesn't really draw the board as like dominant in anything. Just looks like a fairly well-rounded player. Second round, I'll save that guy for last. Third round, we got a 71 left tackle, normal dev out of Penn State. Just more so depth. Fourth round, 70 guard with a hidden dev out of ECU. Looks really, really nice. Might actually be able to have to plug and play him because Feeney's getting kind of old. Uh, just a flyer here in the fifth round at Ben Kennedy, D-tackle, 62. Hidden dev trade, added value, but this was the best pick. Jakari Dawson out of Florida. You know I was going to make the pick. You can see the 96 speed. He's 78, hidden dev. Wow. Like one of the best corners I've ever drafted. One of the best corners I've ever seen. Even been tagged in on Twitter. And he falls into our lap here for the Chargers. The, the rich get richer. Year four, trying to defend our Super Bowl. We're a 94 overall team. Not our highest overall. I think we've been 96 before. We're on our way. Herbert, Superstar, X-Factor, 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 X-Factor. Offensive line is coming together. We got Mark Pettus at 93. Hunter Henry, surprisingly, has not gone up in a dev trade, which is starting to frustrate me just a tad. Just a tad. Uh, but this this is this is terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. Defensively, um, no dev traits. I don't... Oh, yes, we did, actually. Nasir Adderley went from star up to a superstar dev. For the 25-year-old safety, who I actually think is about to have to get extended. Uh, Des King's up to a 94. Awuja, Fringe. I'm going to make Dawson actually our third corner. I want to get that guy in the field. Um, yeah, I mean, 
Disappointing from the this is pretty much been the only disappointing is is Wosu, Tillery, and Godshell. But other than that, uh, I've been I've been really really. I mean, even though it's disappointing, it's just dev trade. He's almost a ninety overall. So uh, feeling really good with this team. Hopefully we can win another one. I just more so it's almost now that we got the Super Bowl away. I just want Justin Herbert for the rest of these two years to just continue to be a freak. So coming up for the bye, disappointing start two and three. We started off this slow last time. Uh, let's see where Herbert's on pace. Actually, a little, definitely off the mark again. I mean, he's finished with the last two years fairly strong. I'm a little bit worried. I'm a little worried right now that we're going to face that Super Bowl slump. But the reason why we're not signing anyone free agency because, you know, retain our own. First up, we got Derwin James. Got to get him locked up. Five-year deal. He wants more money. Yikes. Drew Tranquil. Five-year deal. Okay. And this year, Adderley. Oh, that's a very affordable. Five-year deal for him. He wants a little bit more money. So I'm not going to extend anyone until we get our safeties locked down, which he should. But then I'm going to assume the budget's going to be fairly tight for year four and five. Or for the remainder of year four into year five. At the end of year four, we somehow, on like 10 and six, just an average record, get a bye. We'll just might as well sim right now to see what we're going to be taking on in the playoffs here to defend our Super Bowl crown. And it's going to be the 10 and six Browns. Not worried about it. Um... Yeah, man, again, this team is a second-half team. We've been fairly disappointed in the mid midway point. There's Justin Herbert. Just look at this. Through three years, he's averaging like 47 touchdowns a year. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, 1,000 yards, seven touchdowns here for Eckler. Shout out to Boston, Scott. Hell yeah, we got Biden. Two rushing touchdowns for Herbert. We got 15 and 12 for Keenan Allen, 8 and 10 for Hunter Henry, 7, almost 807 for Mike Williams, uh, 11 touchdowns for Samuel Eckler getting back and involved in the scheme, getting five receiving touchdowns, Monty Rice all over the place, 112 tackles, 10 TFLs, 5 sacks, 12 and a half from Bosa, 8 and a half for Chenna Wosu, love seeing that, Tranquil, 4 picks, 3 for Derwin, 3 for Awuja, our free agency signing, you like seeing that immediate return, we get robbed of MVP from Ezekiel Elliott, I don't even, whatever, whatever. Offensive player of the year, Justin Herbert. Defense player of the year, went to Josh Allen. Offensive rookie of the year, defensive rookie. Went to Dawson, our corner. Love seeing that. QB is Herbert. Keenan Allen's your best wide receiver. Not much on the defense. Again, our defense, I wonder where we finished. Offensively, we were sixth. Defensively, probably fairly low, like in the teens. 28th. That is just not good at all. As in the first round of the playoffs against the Cleveland Browns trying to defend our Super Bowl, we win 28-17. to I like seeing that. Now we have the Kansas State Chiefs, 9-7 and for the play to go to the Super Bowl. And we've knocked them off, 27-24. to I don't even really care at the stat. You know Herbert's playing out of his mind. And now we get our revenge. I don't even need to check what was going on for that MVP. It's the deserved MVP in, in Herbert. Going up against the winning MVP in Ezekiel Elliott. Let's get in the Super Bowl. Let's make it two in a row. All right, so we're in the Super Bowl. Let's go. We got Boston Scott returning kicks. Love seeing that. But it's Dallas. Anytime we play Dallas in the Super Bowl, you know we want to win, let alone win two in a row. So we'll have, come, we'll have an occasional um, Curtis Samuel bomb if we need to come in. But it looks like we're playing fairly well. 14-7. Looks fairly evenly matched here. They're the first team to settle for a field goal. If we can keep going down and punching in tutties, that'd be great. But a seven pool, they get the instant touchdown. Very annoyed. I'm not going to lie. Next time we can come in, I'm going to throw a Curtis Samuel bomb. And it looks like it's going to be too late. Give me a fourth down. Oh, fourth and si Oh, this is like the best scenario. Okay, where's Curtis? Okay, we'll go... Uh, Stick and nod. Is this one that has Eckler's wide receiver? No. Okay. We got we got Curtis Samuel on the top. I think that's Byron Jones that's covered. That's a lot of speed. Oh, let's just lead him. Oh, one-handed. Oh, it doesn't even matter. It's so cheesy. But that gives us a chance. 27-24. Come on. Use that as the spark to win another Super Bowl. I don't think. I think it's going to be too little too late. Ah. Uh, we close the gap in the end, still falling three points shy of winning our second straight Super Bowl. 34-31 Dallas wins. We're not going to dwell on it because Dallas, we don't want to be here for too long. Let's quick turn around and get in year five. The draft recap going into our fifth and final year. We needed a guard and a running back, and we got one. 
Uh, we just want an RB2 to compliment Austin Eckler. We got Lionel Webster from Indiana, 76, hidden dev. This guy's insane. 90 speed. You got trucking stiff arm off the chain. Just a great compliment we have at Eckler. A couple 70s here at Tackle. Just one best offensive lineman available to try to see if we get a guard. Unfortunately, we did not, and the computer just dropped the ball finishing out the draft. So year five on what could be considered a historic rebuild. We're a 96 overall across the board offensively. Yeah, we have a... And I, we don't have a weakness at Garrett Shelton. A depth guy is, is able to slide in and play. No weaknesses whatsoever. X factors. We should have Curtis Samuel hit 99. Like every almost every skill position is an X factor except Hunter Henry, who's a 95. Defensively, uh, no one. We, we've kind of stuck here a little bit in terms of development on the defensive line. Uh, but we got X factor here in this year. Idly, he just earned that. But Drew Tranquil has been the star for us. Uh, even more so than Derwin James and Joey Bosa. In terms of just kind of coming out of nowhere and developing an over monster, Rice is 91, Uche Superstar at 91. This 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 the team right there. This is the A1 rebuild for Madden 20 on the channel right now. This has been the creme de la creme, and the best way to top it off is by winning two Super Bowls. Let's get it. Give your five first round bye. I don't even need to really know what our record is, but you do want to see it. 12-4. and four. I think that's our third AFC West title. And uh, we're on fire here. Looking at Herbert. His first, a little bit of a down year still. First year, he doesn't go over 40 touchdowns. And he's still second in the league. Uh, 4,300 yards, 36 touchdowns, 8 interceptions. 1,000 yards, 5 for Eckler, the rookie. Webster getting 10 touchdowns. Huge year. Curtis Samuel is now a 99 overall wide receiver. 1,300 yards, 10 tutties. Nice year for Henry. Williams also chipped in. Defensively, 110 tackles for Monty Rice. 7.5 sacks. Joey Bosa leads the team. 4 picks. From Dawson, that stud corner we picked a year ago out of Florida. Quick look, yearly awards MVP is Ezekiel Elliott. Again, back-to-back -back MVPs for Zeke. Kind of annoyed about that, but it is what it is. So in the first round of the playoffs, we'll upgrade our players to give us the maximum overall. Are we still 96? We're 98 overall. This is, I mean, we're probably with all the, with like all the morale boost and stuff like that, right? I'm going to guess that there's some crazy confidence. Maybe not. Uh, anyways, let's go. Browns, let's, de let's do it. And we knock them off 34-12. to 12. It's a little bit of a weird score. See how that happened. Uh, I assume Herbert had a hell of a game. Three touchdowns, no interceptions for Herbert Eckler. The run game was non-existent, but Curtis Samuel, what a trade that turned out to be. Making it in, I was just like, maybe we can get our third wide receiver from the Panthers year one. Dominate. Three sacks, Chenna Wosu. An interception from Des King. And just like that, we are in the AFC Championship game against the 11-5 Jacksonville Jaguars. Super Bowl on the line. And we knock them off 28-6. Our defense is coming alive. No matter how good our offense has been, no matter what kind of numbers Justin Herbert has been able to put up, our defense has been near bottom of the league. And now they're playing really, really well. 28-6. Four touchdowns on the day for Justin Herbert. Uh, just sharing the love on offense. Defense drew tranquil. Huge game. 11 tackles, two TFLs, two sacks. Cheddar Wosu, five sacks in our two playoff games as we are now heading to the Super Bowl to take on the Green Bay Packers. Is this going to be a winnable game? What do the Green Bay Packers have that we don't have? I don't think nothing. I feel fairly confident against a 9-7 and seven Packers that we're going to finish this thing off with two Super Bowl titles. All right, let's do this. Get out to go. They're nine and seven, so I mean, logic dictates they should have some advantage in the sim. But uh, I mean, our team's just—I think they're not even a ninety overall. We're a ninety-eight overall. If we can't put up points and be a nine and seven team in the Super Bowl, what can you do? I mean, this is just to be like the biggest. Like, let's let let this sim be rewarding to us because we have made the best team in the NFL and we are struggling immensely. Wow. This is just this is uh, this is just like Madden in a nutshell. You take in your 98 overall team into a Super Bowl and you get bumped by a team that I don't. I think they were 88 and they're nine. Uh, they're, they're, this is Madden. They're Madden 20 in a nutshell, right there. And our, and our all, all pro quarterback has 50 percent. Uh. Well, let's just not ignore the fact that uh, in his first season we broke the single year passing touchdown record by one. Peyton Manning got 55. Justin Herbert, as a rookie, got 56 touchdown passes. It's a successful rebuild. Madden being an awful game is not going to dampen our spirits. Justin Herbert, 
This Justin Herbert, well, I don't know why he wasn't the captain. We'll make him a captain now. This is the greatest rebuild quarterback I've ever had in my life. I wish we had him for one more year. I wish he was here right off the rip. But if you're a Charger fan, you'll probably have him in Madden 21 because that's most likely what I think is going to happen. They're going to move on from Phillip Rivers and Justin Herbert's going to come in and be your starting quarterback. But 56 and 7, even those two years are insane. 43 and 45. Only one MVP. But uh, the best rebuild quarterback, I think, maybe ever that I've ever had. Any game, Madden 18, 19, 17, here in Madden 20, is Justin Herbert. So thank you guys for watching this rebuild. I hope you enjoyed. As always, your first time stopping by, don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button. Smash the like button if you enjoyed it. Until next time, it's C4 saying, let me know in the comments what team you want to see me rebuild next. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out. Money I'm spending, I'm out and I'm shopping You talking that shit, when you talking and talking Look at my options, look at me dropping Ass in the game, like who are you stopping? Not me, not me, not never Not me, not me, not never Not me, not me, not never I'm way too clever